showtime. Mm -hmm. uh, we just finished eating, so. So it's. <laughs> I know. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, we changed venues today. Back to our OG spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're just missing Julie. I think Julie was on her first one. That was pre COVID we started doing this. Yeah, it's a fun time ago. Yeah. Anyway, things have changed a little bit here. Yeah. Houses get messier. Less places to record in the videos. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm David Ginelli, realtor with Royal The Page Signature with my lovely wife, Natalie, from Spaces Collective, co-owner. And our favorite day of the week, we missed last week. We just were kind of busy, so we did a rerun. <laughs> so we're back this week. Reruns are nice. Reruns are nice. We do them once in a while. It happens. You could you could do them like any time you want. That's code for I don't want to do these anymore. <laughs> All right, so now let's jump into the question that we're gonna. We always try to be quicker, especially the kids. So they want to jump in the shower, so we want to get them cleaned. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I run into a lot of people that you know, and I when I do my listening presentation, one of the parts of the things that I do, I always bring you to the house. I don't usually tell you anything about the house, and because I want your fresh perspective when you're in there to see how the flow works, what we need to change. And that's part of the staging process. It's actually a big part. A lot of times people don't know, staging isn't always you know taking everything out of the house and putting in brand new stuff. It's also like decluttering, depersonalizing. I know we say this a lot, cleaning it, but also making sure of the flow. I always get people saying, well, I just renovated the house. Do I really need your wife to come by to stage? What do you say to that? Well, such a loaded question. Do you need staging to sell your house? No, absolutely not. Do you want staging to sell your house for the most money? Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so that in a nutshell um, is kind of the way I think about staging. So, you know, when you move into a house, do you have an unlimited budget to buy the perfect furniture for that house? Probably not. So you're probably bringing some old stuff from, you know, your previous condo or your smaller home. Nobody ever moves really from like the exact same footprint to the exact same footprint or even size, right? Well, well why would you do that? Well, exactly. So whether you're downsizing or upsizing or, or whatever the case may be, chances are pretty good that you're going to need some new furniture in your house at some point to, to make it flow perfectly, to have the right size for the right room. Um, and that's something when you're planning on staying somewhere, you build off. You don't go in in one shot and just get it all done. And that's where we come into play. So chances are pretty good if you've lived in a house for, you know, three, four, five years and you're, you're going to move on, chances are that you don't have all the perfect furniture yet or you knew that you were moving so you didn't want to invest in buying that perfect size sofa for a house that you're going to leave. So that's where, again, where we come in and we figure out the perfect size for everything in every room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of it's full. Like we had a recent property where we walked in and like they had the, the kitchen was, they had a table in the kitchen which was oversized. So Natalie just said, you know, that table should actually fits better than the dining room. A couple things, we brought in an extra table and it changed the whole flow of the home. And even the homeowner said, she was, oh my God, I was, she was, I should have been doing this the whole time. Didn't even think about it, right? And it's just funny. So you get those aha moments and that's what you do. We tried to, Natalie tries to cast the widest net for the like, largest audience and making making sure we are maximizing your space that when people come and take all the thought process of the buyers and define spaces, it really goes a really long way. And it's always good to have somebody who's not emotionally attached to a house coming through to give an objective view and say, I think this is what you would need to do and this will help you sell your home faster and for more money. Yep. Did I say that right? Yep. I've done this a couple of times. <laughs> All right, now if somebody wants to reach out and get in touch with you. Uh, best way is to shoot us a DM at spaces.collective on Instagram. On Instagram usually, yeah. That's the best way, you know. <laughs> and then in for me, I can't even get in touch with her. Uh, for me, obviously, you can reach out, you can DM me. You probably don't want to talk to me. It's dangerous corner, you probably want to talk to her, so forget about me. <laughs> All right, guys, have an amazing day, and we'll see you next week. I'll probably see you tomorrow, but we won't see Natalie till next week. Thank God. <laughs> Bye.